Hey Watchlisters, it's your girl Ramat and welcome to yet another episode of The Watchlist on Vantage TV. We are the place to be right here at Koino Kunsela Road, Ikate. But before we get right into the conversation, let's take a look around. <laughs> Welcome back Watchlisters. So on today's show, we'll be throwing a spotlight on one of the great amazing women out there doing magic in the movie industry. You want to know who that person is? Stay glued to your screen. Doing that with me is a movie enthusiast, a movie fondist if I must call him that, Deji Oyewole. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, well, you. well, thank you. It's actually, it's actually nice to be here. It's actually nice to be here. Yes. Ah, you're looking beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Okay. No, oh, I'm right, blushing. Right, right. Ah, say okay. that again, please. You're looking beautiful today. You guys can hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's get right into it. Um, you know Fukan Gidele. I'm very sure you're familiar with her movies, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, um, I was actually an opportunity to work with her for some time. And, oh, great. and yeah, I could, I could say that I've had some time with her and, and you know, been in her company and, and knew a, a thing or two about her. Now that she's a face everywhere, given her political career <laughs> and ambition, but that's not what we are going to talk about. Mm. So okay. we are going to be talking about how she has involved back from 1998 yeah, with a yeah. minor role. Yeah. Was it a major or minor role well, well, in the it, TV it, series I Need to Know? Well, it, it's it's um, this TV series I Need to Know. Like a lot of kids these days won't actually... Need to know. They yeah, won't that, know. that's they the one. Know, yeah. a, lot of <laughs> a lot of kids these days won't actually know. But, you know, the, the she was a very popular face on, on that um, kids show. And she was actually quite young at the time. She, she hadn't come into her full stride that she she is known for now and ever since then it was just one movie after another yes. one one take after another and it was actually quite cool and awesome to watch from far I think you know. after that show she made a major appearance in one of the movie Agbar and La, one Yoruba movie mm. Agbar and La, before a major breakthrough she she she, she did quite a lot Jennifer. of here's the thing she did quite a lot of um movies a lot of movies that were not you know most most actors actually go through this where you make movies that are not so popular and you make the ones that you know really send your name out there and you become a household name and stuff and i think that that, that she's one of the lucky ones that has that as ever since she's become into the limelight she has stayed relevant and she's just going from one you know yes, one blockbuster that. to another mm -hmm. and all that yeah and I think uh, one of the movies that actually made her a household name was Jennifer, which has... Hmm. Jennifer, the, 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 what's the word? The, the, the <laughs> big... I don't know Jennifer can. <laughs> Jennifer can. <laughs> Sulia can. Actually, that, that thing actually cracks me up. It does. Because, the, and the funny thing with Jennifer is like, you know, when, when Jennifer came out, it was... It was, I think she was one of the first people to actually do that where you know somebody for being a serious actor in a serious role and she just, you see the person just switch stereotype because she was not originally somebody who was known for comedy. Yeah, she, she, was, was, exactly. she was more or less like a serious type, you know, regular actor, actress, right? right? And all of a sudden she just became, she just transformed. And I guess that's what most um, actors and actresses should be able to do, to be able to break that norm and just become a different person a different entire, person, yes. entirely. A yeah. person, someone yeah. outstanding. Yeah. Especially the female, given the fact that the, the industry is dominated by men, the men dominated <laughs> industry. But well, then... to be honest, <laughs> to be honest, most of most people that watch are actually there for the females. Let's let's be honest. When you see a fine face in the movie, it's the fine face that will sell the posters and everything. But I understand what you mean by a male dominated exactly. industry because most of the directors are male most of the producers are male, most of the owner of this, these films and these productions are male. And Funke Akidele that you've mentioned just now is actually, she, she now, she's also a producer. She's yeah, also, she's, producer, she's now a, a director, director yeah. and she owns her own enterprise called Scene One Studios, which I've actually had time to work with them for some time. And he, he got, he introduced me 
he reintroduced me because I already knew her from far, but he reintroduced me to Wu Funke Akidele was behind the smiles and behind the <laughs> behind the whole playful antics. And you know, she's actually a really very serious person and she takes her craft yeah, quite, seriously, quite seriously, you know. She looks very yeah. ambitious, like go get her. Yeah, yeah. And and, and to be honest, to be honest, it, it's um the thing is she is quite successful at what she does, to be honest, and it's it's really something that a woman can climb. So it's it's really something of fantastic value that a woman can actually, you know, go in that trajectory and become quite successful, especially in like a male-dominated era, industry, which yeah. industry that you, know, you quite said earlier. Speaking of success, um, a movie on Mogeto was a commercial success. Yeah, yeah, the true, same, true. The same with. Um, Battle on Booker Street. Uh -huh. I think Chief Daddy as well was one of the um, gross movie. Um, <laughs> to be to be honest, now I've just lost count. I've lost count of like, I've lost count of the things that you see from K. Uh, wow. And she keeps setting the nah, record. Nah, nah. And we don't even know what next. Okay, <laughs> but here's the thing about the five hundred million, right? Now the thing is, uh, um, she's actually somebody that carries a lot of people with her, like one of the contributing factor to her success is the fact that um, she she has a lot of people on her production team that have been there through the years mm -hmm. you understand she she those guys go with her wherever so most of the time you hear 500 million and everything and you know you people lose their mind that, oh yeah this woman is the money yeah the money is there but trust me there's a lot of in terms of the studio equipment in terms of the production it's quite expensive to keep all those things afloat and to satisfy all your workers and get everybody yeah. paid and stuff like that not to talk so, of your family members <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm not even talking about family members i'm even now talking about in terms of the the just the general way she set up her brand mm -hmm. right in terms of personality in terms of work ethic uh, most of those things are what led up she's a very by the way she's a very you would think the Jennifer you see is 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 for on screen, no? Are you serious? On screen, no? <laughs> if you do any with this woman, mm, she wow. will just let you know that this is not this is business. This is business. <laughs> this is business. This is business and this is real life. <laughs> she will let you know. Wow. So the thing with Jennifer per se, it's it, Jennifer is Jennifer. Jennifer is not Funke Akidele. That's what a lot of people okay. mistake. <laughs> because a lot of people see Funke, hey, Funke, you know Jennifer, Sulia, whatever. And they think that's who Funke Akidele is, and I'm sorry to inform you, that's not who she is. Really? She is a very well-spoken... You, you know she's a lawyer, right? Yes, yes, Good. Yes, yes. So, she's a very well-spoken, very well... an articulate person that knows what she's doing, the, ca the calculation, the sound and everything and, and all like that. She's like a no-nonsense person, actually. Not seem. She is. Wow. She is... Once you, once you're there, you, you know it's work. It's time for work. There's for no work, time no for, time for play. play and everything. <laughs> Even when you are smiling for the camera, it's all work, man. Wow. It's all work. That's what you need to know. It's all work. And and and, and I think all this thing is also the contributing factor to the success we're talking about, we're talking about right? Yeah. She is one person that you know. She she maybe goes a little bit too hard on herself, and she also likes to work. She actually likes to work. Yeah, I the, think that kind of pay off really as in pretty well. No, there is no kind of pay off. It really does pay, actually, yeah, pay, pay off. Pay off yeah. You just mentioned <laughs> blockbuster of how much figures that is making my head dizzy video. from God. Do you understand? That's it that's just like twice. Not just one movie. It, it, you know, it's, it's, it's like, oh yeah, I make a movie, give me my 500 million. I make a movie, give me my 500 million. You know? Just, just so so, me. so it's, it's like, give, give, give me 500 million <laughs> after the movie. Give, it, it's actually just very funny. You know? back to back. It's, yeah. it, it's very funny. <laughs> and trust me, it's not, it didn't start out like that. As you, you've actually, the, the history we just talked about briefly has spanned, if I'm not, correct me if I'm wrong, has spanned well over going to 10 15 20 years or so yeah, I think so, yeah, you yeah, understand I and that's that's a long investment of time yeah. for anybody to be doing the same thing yeah true do you understand mm -hmm. so a, lo a lot of people have started be after her and i've just her. after her and i've and i've not they've dropped out of the they're not they're no more um actor they're no more thespians they're not anymore they're yeah. not producing they're not they're still actors they're not they don't have their product but i guess that the fact that it, it still contributes to the fact that you have to have a vision right when you have your vision you start out small 
do not despise little beginnings and all stuff. And you know, you get to the summit of the top. Those who have seen the movie Battle on Booker Street, the question is, what next? What do we expect from Fukaki? Probably well, a series. I guess we should, at this Probably point, a series. Too, Probably right? a series. I'm, I'm seeing it. Probably it's shown in a series, you know? right? Yeah. Just like Jennifer. Mm. Well, I guess yes. we, get, <laughs> yes. we get to find out soon enough, right? Yeah. Okay, and that's it on this episode. And do not forget to subscribe like and leave your comments like i said this is a conversation so yeah i'd like to see your comments in the comment section until you un, until we meet again see you guys in my next video i remain well your host ramat and deji bye <laughs>